everybody. Uh, Jay, Haitian over here. Um, well, hopefully, uh, first of all, hopefully y'all had a, a great Thanksgiving. Uh, I enjoyed my holiday. Uh, pretty quiet, but it was still good nonetheless. Um, back on my shit. I'm back on my motivational, inspirational. So I've been listening to tapes all morning. Um, actually been working on this design as well to try to get that done before I go to work. Um, I got inspired to pretty much make a video. Um, been listening to Jim Rahm pretty much all day. Uh, him and Tony. Tony is my baby. I listen to him all day. Um, what they were talking about, of course, is basically more, more so your mindset, your mind frame, how to become... Uh, successful and whatever it is you're trying to do, whatever it is you're trying to strive for, and being able to take where you are at your current level and to basically boost it up to the next level so that way you can get the results that you want to see, be the person that you want to be. And basically, by starting that motion and that process now, and not waiting till you get to where you think you should be, and then now all of a sudden you're supposed to become this great person. Like it's supposed to basically happen from the time you think about it and keep basic, keep gradually growing from now till then and so on and so forth like it never stops at the end of the day it's never going to stop so something that I've also, I've also adopted myself in the last couple of years since I have been working towards my own personal and self mastery basically being the best that I can be in every aspect that is possible uh, I've also noticed that a lot of my posts on my Facebook page has been different because I'll get like my memories that will come up and that'll tell me what I actually said years ago um some of them are more positive if they're just like a couple of years ago and then others before that have been like more um basically how I've been feeling my emotions and I, I'm the type of person that put my emotions out there no matter what circumstances so I'll let you know exactly how I feel and lately I can do that but I'd rather just do that in a video form so that way I can also say this is how I feel but this is how I need to be feeling. This is how I need to approach the situation to where it won't take over and make me basically react a certain way that that's going to hinder my progress and when it comes to myself and personal development. So that's something that I've definitely been using to my advantage. And I believe everybody should because at the end of the day, how you present yourself is basically how the world is going to see you. So with me, because I'm going to say if you go back six years ago from where I was at, completely different person completely different person so um listening to john jim jim ron um basically one of the things i was listening to and actually i want to touch base on was basically that you can start anytime you can start to become better at any time in your life there is no if i started back when i was a teenager then things would have been better for me possibly maybe yes more than likely not and I say all of that because you just never know. So if you are basing off of what could have happened in the past, you could be in a completely different area right now. You could be in the mind frame that could be destructive. You could be around a lot of people who could not be supportive of your path. And, and that could also hinder your progress. So we can't just look at what we've done in the past because, of course, if we do that... Well, to be basically be stuck there, man. There's so much shit in my past that I just rather I had never have even been encountered, that I don't even look at it no more. Now it just made me who I was to realize where I needed to be and realize the steps that I needed to take to get to the person that I should be, and that the person that I really desire to become. As you can, people can have dreams for you all day long. My mama, she always tell me every day she had certain plans for me. You know what I mean? Like to get married to a guy and to have kids, all that stuff. But my life is not nowhere near what she expected. So now it's come to the point where she just literally just wants me to be happy. And literally wants me to just shine as bright as I possibly can. You know? And that's okay. You can't live up to everybody else's ex expectations. You have to be able to have your own. You have to be able to understand and accept your mind frame and how you are wanting to see yourself and how you also want to present that person to other people. And it's not because you actually care what they think, but because of if this is who I am, if I'm a future millionaire and I am making these tapes, I'm writing down my blogs, I'm, I'm updating my YouTube channel, I'm reaching out and connecting with various different types of people, I'm presenting myself as somebody who is about some shit, who is nobody to take for granted that you will whenever you talk to me you will listen to everything that i have to say 
that's the type of that's the type of personality and uh, I'm gonna say uh, that's the type of image that I want to present to others. Okay, and just because I remember how it was back in the day, back and back before when I had the self confidence that I have now, where people could tell me something and it would literally affect me. So now I don't. I listen. I'll go instead. I listen to the people that matter opinions that matter because you can usually tell somebody who's actually speaking to you just to tell you some shit. Then you can also uh, uh, tell the difference between somebody who's speaking to you and also trying to literally help you versus just bashing you. You know what I mean? So if you can tell the difference, then you'll know the ones to listen to and those that you just like fuck them. You know. So with that and taking that with you and using that mind frame that you can be. The best that you can be and become the person that you want to be. I don't care how old you are. If you want, if you still decide you want to become a millionaire and you're already thirty some years old, I'm I'm thirty two and it's still gonna happen to me. So at the end of the day, I don't take it as if I started earlier. Okay, whatever. But I still remember that whatever I did in the past, it helped me to be to think of what I'm doing now. Like me working with my dad when he was doing newspapers for X amount of years, that helps me to develop a type of mentality of hard work. To know that if I wanted to make that dollar at the end of the day, that I had to put in the work. And I was the hardest working one out of all of us kids. So, and it was something that I just flaunted, but it was something that I knew that I had to challenge myself to see how far I can go. And I use that same mentality now. So, even in my 30s, I still look at it like, hey, I still got to keep pushing myself. I still got to, that's why y'all see me when I talk about my how I eat. Y'all, y'all see when I talk about my workouts and when I, when I also make my motivational posts, especially when it comes to law of attraction. Because even in my late 20s, when I was doing whatever the hell, saying whatever the hell, and just not really giving a fuck about whatever was actually being presented to others, basically practically looked like a drunk who had no control. And now, just to turn around and see this completely different person who has still not as much control as I would want, but I, I don't do a lot of those things that I used to do. So it's like these changes can definitely happen. As long as you have that mind frame that I'm going to make it happen, regardless of what's going on right now, regardless of what happened in the past. And even if you might have fell off in the past and now you're trying to gradually get back to where you was, because the fact that you're thinking about it is going to be enough for you to actually make it happen. I know nothing is unattainable. Nothing is impossible as long as you can think about it, as long as you know that you can actually make it happen. And it's all about thinking about it. Think about that you actually have it now, so that way when it comes to you, it's like, well, I'm already been there. I've already been there. I'm just now having the physical aspect of it. That it's not nothing where I have to think about, oh, I'm, I'm surprised because I'm finally here. No. You, it will actually already have that mentality and already be immersed in it because you've been thinking about it and thinking that way for so long already. You know, and that's that's pretty much what life and self mastery and personal development it it comes in hand and is very important because that's what's going to help you to get to the next level, get to the next step, become the next person that you're intended to be, and not be thinking about shoulda coulda wouldas, or even thinking about yourself as somebody who won't be able to make it happen because that's the American going to shut you down. So, at the end of the day, no should not be in your vocabulary. Never should not be in your vocabulary. All right? You should, all the thing, never, only thing you should never say is never quit. That's it. That's it. I don't care what the next person is doing. I don't care that they're doing the same thing that you're doing, but they done reached their success a whole lot faster. You don't know what they had to do to get to that point. You don't know what exactly they had to experience. Their path is not your path. At the end of the day, whatever you are going through right now is what you're supposed to be going through. That's what you need to actually be experiencing to get to where you're supposed to be. And that way, you can be that testimony to others who are looking up to you, who have seen where you were at, and possibly might have talked about you and be like, well, look at her. She came and hold her liquor. You know what I mean? And then they turn around and look at you now and be like, bro, I, I have nothing else to say because right now I'm in shock and awe of all the success that you have done. And you just never know who's watching because at the end of the day, people are always watching you. You know, always watching. They might not be saying something, but they're always going to be looking. You know, so that's why, again, not not to really care about what people think, but just to know how you want to present yourself to others and just be okay with whatever that image is. You know, with me, you guys know, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. You know, if I post up something on, on my social media, I intended to do that. There is no accidents when it comes to me. I don't live with regrets. Why? If the day, if yesterday happened and I did whatever I did yesterday, I meant to do all of that. 
you know? And even if there's some things that I might wish that I have actually accomplished more because of time or whatever it is, then that's and so be that. But I will always make sure that I'll come back to it and do it when I'm supposed to. And do it again. Make another goal for it. Make another a plan for it to make it to make it achievable. That's it. That's it. You know? So so think about that throughout the day. Um, as always, if somebody if you feel like somebody else needs to hear this, definitely share this with them as well. Um I'm actually been ordering a few, I order a few things. I ain't trying to go broke on Black Friday. It's not that serious. So right now, I'm just trying to get a few things for the apartment still. Um, I'm so done with my buying shit. Because it's just like, golly, like, yeah. So I'm ready to just really save save up, save up, save up. So it was at peak season now, my job. So definitely been working a lot of hours. But at the end of the day, it's all for a reason. It's all for a goal. So I know what I'm trying to get to. And I know that after the peak season is over... I'm definitely going to be a lot closer to where I want to be and then just work on to the next step. That's it. So, hope you all have a great day. Don't go broke shopping because I made the mistake of doing that shit one year and bought a whole bunch of shit I didn't even need and half of it I had to throw away. So, it's like, don't waste your money if you don't have to. You know what I mean? If you really need it, go ahead and go for it. Enjoy. Uh, otherwise than that, tell somebody who's less fortunate, pay a bill, send some cash from the cat, send them the money through the cash app, to make somebody smile today, all right? And I hope you all have a good day, and I'll see you all in the next clip.